Well, we continue to spotlight local graduates. One college student graduating this Friday spent some time living here in Rock Hill while pursuing her degree. She also beat cancer twice, but sadly lost her leg because of it. CN2's Renee O'Neill has more on how she plans to spend her career now helping others living with cancer. I present you with a certificate in medical laboratory science. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. 24-year-old Isabel Hanvey is graduating from Carolina's College of Health and Sciences in Charlotte this Friday. As she smiles and gives hugs, her story goes far beyond this accomplishment. When Isabel was only five years old, she was diagnosed with cancer. And so I did a lot of chemo, a lot of radiation. She says after that, growing up, she lived a normal life, cancer free, until 2014 while she was studying here on campus. She says after having pain in her right leg and many trips to the doctor, she learned she had cancer again. Not the same kind, but instead this form coming from her previous treatment. And they said that it was caused by the radiation that I had had um, when I was five, and so all of that caused this post-radiation spindle cell sarcoma. Because of where the tumor was located, Isabel had to have her right leg and hip amputated. Her life changed forever, but she says she never gave up on her dream of becoming a medical laboratory scientist. This job allows her to actually interact with cancer patients. Cancer is my, that's my thing, that's my calling. You know, I've had it twice, I've beat it twice, and I feel like working at a cancer institute is my way of paying it forward. Like I have been helped so much in my life and that is just where I feel like I belong. A calling to change the world. In Charlotte, Renee O'Neill, CN2 News. An incredible story there. Isabel already has a job as a laboratory as scientist at Levine's Cancer Institute. She starts in late May. Also later in September, Isabel will have a formal graduation ceremony with other members in her class. She says she plans to walk across the stage with her prosthetic leg.